Welcome back, guys. It's Good King 205 here. Welcome back to part two of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, where we left off, we just talked to Mr. Ichabod Crane about a murder. Yes, that's right. That happened. And, uh. Mm hmm. Hi, Snow. And no, Snow is doing something about the massage. So I'm going to investigate this magic lamp here. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. Ah, so the genie's already been freed here. Yes, I mean... Rub it. Worth a try. <laughs> well, that's not what I have here. I can look through it again and get back to the magic mirror. <laughs> Let's talk to it. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. The rule? Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some uh, respect for our history and rules. It's supposed to rhyme. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um... <clears throat> I want to know Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle <laughs> and get to work! Still looking! Uh-huh, sure you are. Let's do the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Uh, let's see about show snow. Me snow White. Wow. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well. Until you do, I can't help you. Oh, okay, fine. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Thanks for nothing. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. God, I wish I knew what was going on with my frame rate. <coughs> Alright, well, let's go talk to Snow then. Ooh, actually. A tarot card. Is that tarot witch cards. Witchcraft? Brought them back from Appalachia. Oh. Where they were before then. Not what he did to get them. Like Jack is in Jack and Jill or Jack and the Beanstalk? Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Is there anything else to look at? Doesn't look like it, no. Okay, let's go look at the Book of Fables then. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Let's look at myself. Hmm. Me. Snow. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And his axe. Little red? And two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Who's this? Beauty. Oh, yeah, Beauty. Days. And that's Beast, I'm assuming. And her man. Yeah, Beast. Beast, okay. Funny. The 
three little pigs. Colin and his brothers. Who are these lovely people? Oh, it's uh. I haven't seen Badger around for yeah, a while. Yeah, Badger. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. And there's Ichabod Crane, nice the headless horseman. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? <laughs> Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Maybe. Where is this lovely chap? I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Is that it? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Oh? Have at it, Buffkin. Yeah, thanks. <coughs> we look out for each other. Don't <laughs> ever do it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. Is that it? I think this might be it, isn't it? This is the one. Yeah. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. <laughs> also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. <coughs> Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, Faith. His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. That's pretty dark. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. That's, uh... Ugh. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. That got dark. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? I can't Nothing rule him would out. surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. I don't think he did it. But... Can't be too safe, I suppose. talk to the mirror don't I yeah 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 that because I gotta go I gotta go ask the mirror about faith that's right mirror mirror blah blah able blah 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 about this fable <laughs> of which fable do you wish to know uh let's 
do you Faith's father? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Yeah. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Well, um, let's do Prince, Prince Lawrence. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? That doesn't look good. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Okay. Uh, show me faith. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts conceal. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Huh. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Billy. It's simply the way this has to be. Interesting. So... Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. So that's interesting. <coughs> Sorry. We have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Ooh, for me? Bigby, it's me, Doug. You there? What What's do you up? Want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Mm. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Okay. What a gentleman. Big B ain't so bad. Is it gonna Did make Toad me... say who was there? Is it gonna was it make the me choose? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever <clears throat> it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Mmm. <sighs> Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Toad sounds... Toad sounds urgent, but Lawrence could still be alive. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Toad because... Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Because I don't, I don't think okay. Prince Lawrence did I'm it, so I don't know if he's going to have any information. To him anyway. I don't think Prince Lawrence is going to have much information to offer, even if he is still alive. So I kind of want to go with Toad, just because, you know. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Plus, I owe yeah. it to Toad. I kind of ruined his shit. Worse so. Than day. Is somebody up there? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh shit, fuck. Wait here. Maybe it was the right thing to not say anything. Because if I would have said hey, it might have alerted him. Shit. Although that didn't give me a whole lot of time. What are you looking at, Snow? I'm sorry! That's enough, all right? Just shut it! Oi. <laughs> Anything I can search up here? <laughs> Don't stop yelling at your kid. Helen doesn't make this much of a mess. 
Okay, thank you. Probably get that fixed. Well, we kind of did it, Big B. <coughs> Let's go see what's going on here with uh, Toad and his son. Is that his son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? I'm the big bad wolf. I'm never nice. But sure, I'll guess. I'll hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. You called me here. Well, what's going Sorry, on, buddy? Big B. <clears throat> it's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought it was someone else in Woody's place. Well, there, there was. wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. But... So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. What's going What's on? What's going on? Well, what do you mean? The fact that you're lying Nothing's to me? Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Mm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. I don't believe you one bit, Toad. I don't believe you one bit. Are you alright? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here You're anymore. You're being very pushy here, Toad. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was Somebody in... was in your Somebody building. Somebody was in your building. This is for your own safety, Toad. You called us, yeah. remember? Yeah, yeah, I know, and I appreciate it, mate, but... It's fine. Relax. We'll be out of here in a minute. I just want to check things out first. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. Well, then stop bullshitting uh, Have a me. seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Then, then stop bullshitting me, Toad. <sighs> Grown-ups. Am I right? Yeah, you, you talk to the little one. Uh... Bigby's hey, not you so... Know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. <laughs> cool. <coughs> Say, Miss Snow is... Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. I already see something on the door there. Yeah, the door looks like it's got a busted lock. Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sakes, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this uh, building. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't believe you, man. I don't believe you, Toad. You're holding something back. You're holding something. The lamp's broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh -huh. And you haven't picked it up? The lamp just fell off the table. You know, <laughs> this place is like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Yeah, but something must have knocked it over, Toad. Ah, uh, so you know, it was thrown. That was thrown, because there's, no there, there's no outlet space there, so that was... This was not on this table, Toad. You're, you're bullshitting me. I don't like it when people bullshit me, Toad. And there's a dust ring there. Fire poker. <laughs> Is that blood? Hmm. What happened here? The poker? Whoa! There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. E Sounds painful. Yeah. Oi! Don't you go mavering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Uh huh. Sure. Blood on the wall, too. 
bullshitting me, Toad? I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around Kinda? like a tit trying to pick out a rat. You said it was your Plus foot. I've got some on the furnishments. You said it was a f your foot, though. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Yeah, I thought Boy, you cut your you foot. You cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Caught totally yeah, alive. no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. You certain? <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. You certain to really get on my nerves, Toad? How about you stop the bullshit? <clears throat> Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because you're lying? I mean, things happen, you know. Yeah, you're yeah, hiding, something. You're hiding something. Hiding something? Yeah, you're acting. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But yeah. I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. Yeah. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. Then tell me the Honest. goddamn truth. Anything else over here that I can search? Window? Doesn't look like anything. Oh? Finger... Is it fingerprints? Yeah, those look like fingerprints. Yeah, like claw marks. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. Well, there's marks here on the window, so and what's that about? No real reason. Just last Wait. night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. So you couldn't have just knocked on the door and said, oh, hey, it was me. You, uh... Oh, uh, yeah, and you... you uh, shaking Stevens album yet? <laughs> you also lying about the door, too, man. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left a tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? You wouldn't need a keys. Wouldn't need keys. Since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Boom! Fucking hell. Just what are you Detective on Detective Bigby! Up the state I was in, I didn't have me head. That's all it was. I forgot a fucking <clears throat> handle was fucking busted. Yeah. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You're bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Well, then stop lying to me. You stop lying to me. Let's see if I can catch him in a third lie. <laughs> There's a mark over here, too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? No, 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 no. I mean, no, no. <coughs> uh, the lamp was over here and it was thrown. Broken lamp was here. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. Yeah. There isn't any room in the electric outlet. Huh? What are it you? It was plugged in over here, and now it's there. I did some refiguring. Yeah. Who fucking cares? And did not plug it in. Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Bigby, come on. I'm begging for uh, mercy uh, of me, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken you up enough of a day with here. all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. You I'm called sorry me here, I called. Ass. Really, I am. But will you please, please, just bugger off? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet? You say to my face, 
Now you think I'm hiding something from you? Because you are. I've got to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When, when you tell me the truth. When you start telling me the yeah, truth. Yeah, come on, Todd. man. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? You're not telling me the... I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Talking's not gonna get to I've him. I forgot my key, so I climbed the sill. There's no more story to tell, mate. There's... He's not gonna... Talking's not gonna do anything. This is all getting a bit stressful, alright? Please, just take it easy. <laughs> I my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! <laughs> Come on, Big B. I'm sorry, DJ. Hey, is this really necessary? Oh, uh, sorry. Maybe, uh, maybe it's, it's it sorry. Away from you. Yeah. Dad. Oh my God. Got him. Take off your hat. He got hit in the head with the poker. Higby, you didn't. He didn't. <gasps> nah, he got hit in the it head. Was that? Butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. He come bulging in, screaming about something a woodsman ain't. Or thought he ain't, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a whole morning. Where, where did he go? That. You know where the Tweedle went? <coughs> no, he didn't happen to mention his nightly plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. All right, all right. You don't gotta be a dick. I wanted to, really, I did. Was it so hard? But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, um, he'd come back and kill well. my boy. Yeesh. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. <laughs> uh, sometimes. Borrows. I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Good boy, TJ. Fine bit of dress it is. Under the... Ah. Oh, it's her cloak. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Yeah, what's this? It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. It belongs to Lawrence. He doesn't he seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Alright, you don't gotta be a dick, Toad. Come on now. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. Sorry. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me, Miss Snow. So, the prince is now? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's our best lead. Our only lead, really. Well, when you put it... That <laughs> I was just about to say, when you put it like that... <laughs> Lawrence's apartment, okay. <coughs> I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Okay. Just 
humor me. We need, we need to question Lawrence. We need to question him. Bump him up on the suspect list or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mundy's maybe, but this is different. Well... You can't be too sure, Snow. I mean, I... Don't make sweeping generalizations like that. I mean, come on now. All right, well, let's do it. Come on, Snow. Uh, let's let's talk first. Can you hear me? Doors cracked open. Ooh, that doesn't look. Ooh. Don't just peep into someone's house. Check if he's home. I already did. I don't like the look of this. This looks like a murder scene. I don't like this. Oh. Oh no. Would he have been okay if I came over? <coughs> oh my god. Oh, he's still alive. Hey, hey, stay with me, Lawrence. I'm gonna no. be alright. No. Let me go. Oh my god. She. What is it that you're telling us? <gasps> Bigby, water. Kitchen. Yeah, I know where the water is, Snow. Okay, maybe I don't. Stay with me, man. Stay with me. Stay if with me. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Uh, what happened? What happened? <laughs> Faith. Do you still have that letter? Yes. Should I open it? Uh, I'm not sure if it's right. It's your decision. It's your decision. Do what you think is right. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Oh. Faith. Oh no. It's only two words, but he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We need to figure out what happened here and find whoever did this. Shit, man. Shit is going down in Fable Town. He's a bunch of unopened mail. <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. That's a good nose you got there, Big B. I'm gonna just take that. <coughs> Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger.
What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. You've got one hell of a nose, man. I can't even check the knife. Matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. I think it was placed there to make it look like it was part of the murder scene. So can I not do anything with the sword? Oh, I see. The knife. The mirror showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. Yeah. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Maybe he knew too much. Maybe. Just a... Ooh, there's a gunshot hole there. Bullet passed through the chair. Yeah. The angle works if he shot himself. This is very elaborate if they did... I feel like this was a setup, though. I don't think he actually shot himself. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Well, no shit, Big B. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Touch it. <coughs> Is it fresh? Still a little sticky. Secondhand paperbacks. Old encyclopedias. Okay. Dusty. No one's read these in a while. Good to know. Thanks for the info. Glad that we cleared that up. I saw that I could look in the freezer, or, yeah, the freezer, or the note. Pay the rent next week, pizza in the fridge, please don't look for me, goodbye, Faith. Hmm. Can I use the sink again? Glad to see that this is completely everything. Alright, I want to take a look at this panel. It's a mattress? Son of a... What is that? Dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you. What does it say? I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see. Okay, pick it up. I love you. Into the bed a little. My dearest Faith, oh, he I never meant it. to hurt you, <laughs> and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love your devoted Lawrence. Mm. I just don't feel like he was set up. I don't think he did anything. Hopefully they're together now. About all we can hope for at this point. I still don't think he did it. I can do here. <coughs> oh, the fan. That doesn't really help. <laughs> Shut up. Is there something that I can do now that I took the bullet out with this?
cool. Uh, do I talk to Snow, maybe? Uh, oh, the closet. Oh, shit. Stay here. No. Snow. QT time? It's a hey, tweedle. Stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. Good. Hey. Son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why'd you Why? run? <laughs> did you run? <clears throat> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. No, no, the no, fuck no, was no. I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. You're Bullshit. covered in blood. You're covered in blood. Look. I was just asking him about the girl. That's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. You're looking for the woodsman, right? How do you know? I that? know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now. I'm looking for both him. of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. <clears throat> Who's your boss? Who's your employer? I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand. Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on. You're coming with me. This could have been easy. Huh. Don't worry. It still is. Come on. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He almost looked peaceful. Big B, you got knocked the... Oh, hey, Snow. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Just, leave me, Just here. leave me here. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. He mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. I think Snow has a thing for the big bad wolf. Sounds like New York. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out Shouldn't of him. Shouldn't you not be talking about this in a up. cab? I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think mm. did this? <clears throat> I know it's still early, but I just 
feel a step behind. I think it it's might an be uncomfortable feeling. Faith was in trouble, afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. Yeah. There's still a lot of questions. We find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go for it. I doubt there. the woodsman did it. I think Makes he's sense. all bark, no That's bite. That's probably the best approach. Jeez, frame rates, thank you. Bumper to bumper traffic. Thanks. Thanks. I for wish you. there was. Oh. Awkward. Sorry. Uh, go, go ahead. ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's. It's nothing. I just... You sure? Seeing all this today... There are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. Well, that's called tunnel vision. You have to turn to... Prostitution. Ugh. I... I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Crane is the problem. Crane is the one to blame here, not you. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. I'm more to blame than anyone. You'll fix it. Hey, just because you make a mistake doesn't mean you're doesn't mean know. you're screwed forever. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Mm. It's a bit fucked. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe I mean, this come on, you gotta me. be optimistic. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. I'm sure you'll, you'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I but trust right you now. make the right decision. I hope you're right. You get the big bad most trust. I believe in you, Snow. You seem like a good-spirited person. Uh, maybe you should handle this one. Maybe for the best. Yeah. Maybe I should. You be okay, Snow? Big B. Yeah? I... Um, just... Be careful. Please. I make I make no promises, ma'am. You too. The same goes for you. I will. Okay. The trip trap. What do you want, Sheriff? Oh no. Just I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd just pop thought in. I'd pop in and say hello. Well fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? 
You know who I'm knows. talking about. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But Come yeah, on. he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. You bullshitting me? Because I'm... I'm sensing a bit of shuz, a little bit of bullshit. Ooh. Does he tell you when to close, too? Ooh, I, mm. Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Yeah. Yeesh. Well, this episode's been going on for a little bit, so... I'm going to call it for part two. Uh, thank you guys so much for sticking in and watching part two. Um, in part three, we'll figure out uh, what's been going on with the woodsman here at the bar. And, uh, yeah. I will catch you guys in the next part. So, until then, see you on the next episode. Peace. Peace.